Hello everyone, welcome to Cool IT Help. This is new video tutorial session for you. In this tutorial session, I will show you how to integrate Sonar Lint in Apache NetBeans. Also, I will tell you how you can use it. So guys, let's get it started. Let's talk about the features of this plugin. This plugin support Java, JavaScript, PHP, HTML and XML. So guys, you will get the support with these languages and here we have these four steps for the installation and use so we will follow these steps one by one so let's begin with the step one so in the step one we need to download a plugin a simple plugin and then we will install it and this is the link the same link given in the description box so you guys can get that link from and pick that link and open your favorite browser and paste that link in the address bar press enter and guys you will be landed here on this page this is the apache netbeans plugin portal and this is the trusted page for download this plugin and you can see here here's the summary about the sonar lint for the netbeans and this is the home page this is the github page and you can get more details about this plugin on this page and this is the download matrix these are the subsequent version which were available and very recent version is 2.5 and here we have two version type for NetBeans 11 and for NetBeans 12. If you guys working with the NetBeans 11 so you have to choose this one this is the verified that's why this is green and this is the uh, second one which is for the NetBeans 12 and uh, here in my this uh, NetBeans ID you can see the version is 12.3 so I'm going to download the second one and you need to just click on the link and very quick your downloading will start you can notice on the left bottom the file size is not much big only three four minutes is sufficient for complete download so I am leaving this thing behind I have already downloaded this link and I have placed somewhere in this folder so guys, once your downloading is done, you will get this kind of file with .nbm extension. And now I'm taking back you here in this notepad. So these are the steps so you can track your progress here. And now it's time to import this plugin in NetBeans IDE. Now we are going back here in the NetBeans. And now guys, you have to go on the top menu this menu item tools click on it and the drop down list will appear then you have to click on the plugin option and uh, this plugins pop-up window will appear in front of you now you have to go on the downloaded tab and at this place we have this button add plugins to add the downloaded plugins we need to click on it if you click on it this will show you a browse file browse window so at this place we have to select the downloaded nbm plugin so i have placed my plugin on the desktop in the folder so i'm looking for that okay i got it and the file is dot nbm which i have just selected and finally going to click on this open button here we go once you click on the open you will see that plugin is added here and uh, the details will available on the right hand side in this section also you can read these features of uh, this plugin which you are going to get here and finally we need to click on this install button and again you will get a pop-up window simply you have to click on the next and now this is the license agreement page and here are the terms and condition that we need to accept so you guys can go through it and uh, after reading all the stuff simply check this box and press the install button and very soon this will do some activity and this will throw you another warning that validation warning that this plugin is not properly signed and uh, you want to trust it I have already told you we just downloaded this plugin from the verified or trusted source of the NetBeans uh, uh, plugin portal so we can proceed with confidence so simply press on the continue button 
and within two seconds you will get the installation success message and at this place we must need to restart our id in case you have some other work so you can restart this later but please restart the id before doing any work on the netbeans id related to this sonarland plugin so guys we have already done the step two now meanwhile the net apache netbeans is updating and uh, this is loading that plugin properly and uh, preparing the netbeans for us and reloading is in progress okay finally the netbeans is loaded now we are going to perform the step three so in this step three i will show you how you can use the sonar lint on the java project or the files so basically we are focusing on the java that's why i'm showing you here so in the netbeans i have a, a one project which i had created in my previous video session so we have one java file here and also we have one html file so we will run our solar sonar lint analysis on this project or the files so the first option is available we can run the sonar lint analysis on the complete project also we have the options so we can select a particular file and then we can run the sonar lint analysis on that particular file as well so i will show you both both are very simple so first select your project and do the right click and you will get this menu list and come at this place you will see this option analyze with the sonar lint click on it once you click you will see this tab will appear and you will get the detailed report at this place analyze done 20 issues found and uh, this is the complete or you can say the consolidated report so the analysis done on all your files and uh, the corresponding uh, problems or issues reported by this sonar lint plugin and you can expand the tree and you can get the problems details here this way so suppose we'll click on this one and this will redirect me at the place where the problem exists and i am expanding the next tree the major 13 issue which were reported inside the html file because the html file also the part of this project and this is lying inside the package so guys this is the first way you can run the sonar lint analyzer on the complete project in one go now if you want to run this sonar lint analyzer on a single file then you can also do it it's very simple i'm going to show you that thing now i have just closed that previous window now i'm selecting the demo.java file and doing the right click and uh, these menus will appear so we have to come downside and here we have the option tools so put the cursor on it and you will see the secondary list will appear and there are some options in these options we have the analyze with sonar lint option so click on it and you will get the report on the right hand side so we have some critical issues and major issues and that are uh, detected and uh, on this demo.java file only so this way you can uh, run the sonar lint analyzer on the single file as well and you will get the complete reports and accordingly you can make the changes in your file and meet the standard code and you can remove the potential issues and guys one of the file i have which is test.html also let me show you we can run it on html as, as well as you know this supports java php javascript ts and xml also so the same way you can select the file do the right click go to the tools and then select analyze this file you will get the report on it you can see this is the report and uh, on many lines we have some minor problems four issues reported so this way we can uh, run the analyzer and get the results now guys i will show you how to enable and disable rules from the settings we have a uh, uh, very long list of the rules so you can uh, apply the very strict sonar lint analyzer on your code so for that thing you have to enable or disable some rules then you have 
to go on the top menu tools and then come here or click on the options and then this options window will appear in front of you and now at this place you have to go at the last and click on this miscellaneous icon then you will see these tabs and uh, in front of us we have sonarlint we need to click on it and then we will get this tabular format of information and uh, let me tell you a few things about this these are the rules on the very right hand side column you can see and this is the drop down so if you select the drop down uh, so the corresponding rules will appear now this is showing about the js now i have just selected about the java all the rules which are applicable right now which are enabled are appearing also you have a filter box so you can type and uh, so you can uh, search out the rules on the basis of description and guys here the first column is a checkbox so you can apply the checkbox you can search the rules that you are looking for and you want to enable or disable then come on the first column and do a check or uncheck as per your requirement so you can exclude or include the rules by doing check or uncheck at this place and finally once you're done then click on the apply button and simply press the ok so that will be applicable to the project this is very simple and straightforward settings and uh, one last thing that i want to tell you when you see this gray gear icon uh, on the rules so you can click on it and you will see the detailed description and the suggestions okay so the particular thing that uh, about the rule if your code is not fulfilling that rule so your code is not compliant that rule so you will get the suggestions here how you can make a compliant solution okay so you will get the suggestion and examples when you click on this gear icon so you can explore more as per your requirement if you are getting something which is not understandable easily so you can simply come at this place and find that rule and press on and click on this gear icon and you will get the details and the suggestions so guys this is the uh, way you can download and install also you can enable and disable the rules here uh, for the sonar lint analyzer plugin in the netbeans ide if you found this tutorial relevant and useful guys you can follow this step five you can hit the like button also you can subscribe my channel to learn more for now thanks for watching cool it help